Hi everyone, my name's Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a TBR video of all of the translated sci-fi fantasy books that I'm interested in reading. I say all, but obviously this list is ever-changing. There's so many that are out there that I would be interested in reading, but these are kind of my top priority of translated sci-fi fantasy I want to read. I've tried to get a range of different languages, but some languages are just harder to find because of how much work goes into translation and what publishers deem as worth it. So that's a whole other conversation, but here is a list of books I would like to read. Some of these have next to no readings on Goodreads, and then some are very popular. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, I have The Three-Body Pro Problem by Shishin Liu. This is translated by Ken Liu, who wrote The Dandelion Dynasty. This is a sci-fi series that has kind of taken booktube by storm recently. This is a book I am definitely reading this year because it is one of the 12 books recommended by 12 booktubers that I will link that video down below, but this one I will definitely be reading this year. I don't know a whole lot about the series. I know that this book won a Hugo Award and that the series, the characters from what I've heard are more like ideas, like the characters are not really like fully fleshed out characters, but that the science involved is very complex and very interesting. And I love really heavy science, science fiction, so I'm excited to get to this. I own all three, so I better like them. <laughs> but yeah, super excited to get to this. And this is translated from Chinese. So this is originally written in Chinese. Next up, I have The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. This is another pretty famous translated work. This is translated from Japanese. And this is kind of like a dystopian sci-fi futuristic story about these police that can take away people's memories and they're trying to wipe certain things out of people's minds. And it's just the struggle for information and for sanity and all of that. Um, this is one that I've seen talked about a lot and I am excited to get to it. It sounds dark. A lot of these on this list actually sound very dark, um, but I am excited to get to this. It has a beautiful cover and it sounds really interesting. Next up, I have Waste Tide by Chen Kutan. I'm sorry if I butchered that. A lot of these names I'm probably gonna have a hard time um, pronouncing, just a heads up. Um, but this one is also um, translated by Ken Liu, originally in Chinese. And this is a futuristic dystopian sci-fi as well. And I think there's like AI involved and it's supposed to be a really dark futuristic um, China. Like I, I'm pretty sure it is set in China and it is kind of like the industrialization and just kind of like AI takes over kind of thing. So I'm interested to read this one. I sometimes like AI stories, but normally not. But I do like dystopian sci-fi. So I'm hoping that those together kind of like work well for me. Also, the cover is really cool and I'm excited to get to this one as well. Next up, I have The Body of the Beast by Audrey Wilhelmy, I believe. This is translated from French, and this one seems very twisted and dark. This is about a secluded family that lives in a lighthouse, and from what I can tell, I think a woman like comes out of the forest who's kind of like been living on her own in the forest, and so she's kind of like animalistic, and she ends up having like seven kids with one of the people in this house, and then one of the kids can, is a shapeshifter, and I'm unsure if I like this one because it it like it's supposed to be about like humans more more animalistic side and that could either be done really well or it could end up just being like a weird book with weird sex like I don't know sometimes those kind of books just don't work out well for me so we'll see I have high hopes um but again, unsure about this one. I think the themes will either work really well for me or they won't. Um, it was compared in the blurb to The Lord of the Flies, which is like a classic book that you have to read in school, which is fine. It's a fine book. It's about like a bunch of kids living on their own. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. It could be really cool. If it does it well, I think it could be a interesting like psychological look into like human minds and like living on your own and th things like that so we'll see it could be done really well next up i have hybrid child by mariko ohara this is uh also translated from japanese and this is another kind of like sci-fi dystopian futuristic story and this is about um, like a, a kid who is like a science experiment and he's able to 
ingest different parts of different people and he can like transform his body to be like that I think and there's also like AI and stuff involved with this it kind of gives me vibes of Miss Bourne if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about I'm interested to see like kind of where this book goes again most of these books are like weird futuristic dystopian novels which I don't know the reasoning for that I don't know if that's just like what publishers are more most interested in translating or what but I'm so excited to read this. I think it could be really cool if the premise is done well. I, I like those like futuristic um, like science experiment humans kind of stories uh, more than I like an AI story. So I'm hoping that this works well. And I, I like those like dark twisted like kind of almost horror stories of like human bodies like that kind of I like those kind of books. So I'm, I'm interested to see if that's what this book is. Next up, I have The Grey House by Ariam Petroyan, I think. Uh, this is translated from Russian, and this is about a bunch of handicapped children that live in this house that's, like, in the sky. And I think this house is, like, magical. It has... It, it like interacts with time differently and it like can respond to these children I think and everyone outside of this house they refer to as the outsiders and there's like I think there's like some disagreement or some something going on with the outsiders and these children and their people like and their teachers or caretakers or what have you are like trying to get it all sorted out I think I don't know. The cover's cool and I like a like magical house kind of setting. I always find those really interesting and I think the premise sounds interesting. I'm a little concerned. I'm hoping it doesn't just become a big ableist mess of a story. Um, I'm hoping it is uh, like more inclusive than that because the whole premise is a bunch of handicapped kids live in this house. So we'll, we'll see how well they handle that. Um, I'm interested to see if it is handled well. But overall, this one seems cool. It's one of the only more fantasy ones. A lot of these on this list are very sci-fi, futuristic, and this one feels much more fantasy. So I'm excited to get to this. Next up, I have Vida Nostra by Mar Marina and Sergei Dyachenko. This is a, another kind of more famous one. I've heard Vida Nostra talked about in a lot of places. This is a Ukrainian story that seems very dark. It's like a horror novel and there's like this magical school that this girl um, is taken to by this man. She like does these chores or what have you or like errands for this man and he gives her these coins and then he makes her use those coins to go to this magical school and if she doesn't perform well there's like serious consequences for her family I think. It seems really dark. I love a magical school and this, the premise of this in general just sounds really interesting. So I'm excited to get to this one. This is definitely one of the more well-known ones on this list. So I'm interested to see how it, how well it works out for me. And then lastly, I have The Q by Basma Abdel Aziz. This is translated from Arabic. It, it seems more like a dystopian novel without like magic and science I think the basic premise is it's set in Egypt and there is like some political things going on and there's like a really long line of people that are waiting for something I'm a little unclear on the <laughs> on the plot um, but there's a lot of different people from different walks of life in this line and it seems like it's a really interesting dystopian story so I'm excited to get to this one as well it is the only I believe southern hemisphere translation on this list I believe I'm interested to get to this one it seems interesting and a little less uh a little less dark than some of the other ones on this list so I'm hoping this one while it still seems like it'll be a really emotional gut-wrenching read I think it will hopefully be a little less uh like dark horror type than a lot of the other books on this list so excited to get to this one as well and that is my list of top priority translated sci-fi fantasy books I want to get to thank you guys for watching if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, let me know down below some other translated sci-fi fantasy that you would recommend for me. Um, a lot of these ended up being like more dystopian, so if there's more like traditional fantasy stories that are translated, I would love that. Um, I had a hard time finding some like that. If you really like my content, please hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post new videos. As always, your support means the world to me, and until next time, thank you guys. Thank you.